Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we are doing a Shaco game, and as you can see, the whole team has Smite. So this is going to be another all Smite game. But um, where we saw last time that um, everyone was going for the jungle, this time everyone seems to be going for their normal lanes. And hopefully we will see some good games. So Shaco is going to, um, or some good plays I should say, Shaco is going for that jungle, and he is going to uh, jungle his heart out. So, someone on the enemy team, and it is Soraka, actually went for that extra bit of um, of gold. And <laughs> two guys still haven't shopped yet. There you go, one of them did now. And, yeah. Hmm. He's leaving 70 gold behind, only going for 3 uh, of the health potions, where he could of course have a lot more, well, 5, <laughs> so he could he could have 5, he could have 2 more, and um, Soraka going <laughs> for an amplifying tome, why? Is she going mid? No, 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 no. That, that would be ridiculous, she's the only champion that can actually uh, well, that can actually support, so she's just going a ridiculous build here. That's it. She is probably going for Cage's lucky pick and has one ward to support her uh, her bottom lane champion. So, um, yeah, Shaco not going for the wolves here, and that is because, well, he is Shaco, and Shaco generally doesn't go for that. Shaco d generally goes for a lot of boxes and uh, in the blue buff. Sorry, I'm a, I have a little bit of hiccups here. And yeah, the box is uh, doing some damage to the blue buff, and of course uh, he is going to pick off the blue buff pretty quickly. No problem. And then going for those wolves and uh, blah blah. Should be no problem. And uh, he is just going to wait a little bit and then uh, go and do some damage. He's trying to attack from behind, of course, because that is what you should do with Shaco. You get 20% attack uh, damage buff when attacking from behind. It's kind of ridiculous, but it is the way it works. And I think that used to be on Evelyn's. Uh, uh, I, I forgot what the key, what the, the name of the skill is, but the E. Uh, it used to be on that as well, because yeah, when you started to or when you jungled with her, you had to have all kinds of uh, very fancy positions to make it work in the old jungle. Of course, since the new jungle, Evelyn hasn't really been viable anymore. But in the next patch, we are going to get a viable Evelyn once again, and hopefully it will actually work because it was pretty ridiculous the, how bad she was in uh, well the last was that half year. Oh man, how do you get killed against Graves as uh, Corky? Oh yeah, not getting Valkyrie at level two. That'll do. Yeah, that is. Uh, that's just super greedy, and that will get you killed. I mean, um, going for that Gatling gun, yeah, that is uh, not good. Th y you shouldn't do that. You should just go for the Phosphorus Bomb first, and then go for Valkyrie, because you need to get away. You need to be able to get out when you, uh, when you want to. Anyhow, we are going for uh, some boxes over here. And he is going to plant multiples. So probably two. And then going into this uh, this red buff. And there we go. Getting the damage off. And um, of course this, uh, this lizard is a lot harder to kill than the... Or well, no, it does a lot more damage than the blue buff. The golem. But uh, yeah, he is going to take that with no problems. Probably jungled Shaco a couple of times before, and actually knows how to do this. Because um, yeah, jungling Shaco is not that hard, but you need to know where to place which skill or where to use which skill. 
because otherwise uh, you're going to get killed by things like the red buff and things like that. So top lane gets a little bit of a gank here, but oh man, this guy is low. And yeah, it's a shame that Shaco is nowhere near this. And how many people are actually using their smite? So oh, smite used, smite used, smite used. So three of them actually use, uh, utilizing that smite for their uh, their laning, which is excellent. And of course. Um, that is the way you should she should do that. Just because you uh, have an unusual skill there, doesn't mean that you shouldn't use it. And oh, come on, yeah, a little bit of overextending there on Chogoth. And if he only played that a little bit differently, then they would have gotten a kill for nothing. And that would have been a lot better, of course. And I don't know why someone pinged that, but yeah. Random ping going off. So Shaco is going to go to the jungle once again. Maybe to the mid lane? No, no, no. He's just going into the jungle. Anyhow, um, yeah, without any wards on her, well, she had that one ward. Uh, yeah, she was kind of the living ward there. Oh, she's. Wow. Almost getting killed again there. Uh, Masti just managing to ki to uh, to distract the enemies enough to get off of the uh, the, 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 the come on Corky, but that was really bad once again, not reacting properly with his um, um, yeah I'm no this is not going to result in a kill so we are going to go mid lane, but yeah the. Um, the Corky not reacting properly with his Valkyrie and oh nicely done that was a nice burst I thought it was the other way around that he was going to get killed but yeah that's why I don't really pay attention to what's happening I just see very quickly who was involved and then I go to that lane anyway yeah it's 36 minions to 14 minions so he is definitely doing very well in that mid lane Shaco trying to get something done, but with the ward there, there's really nothing he can do. And, oh, you're getting hit by the turret. But he is going to pick up the kill. Yeah, a very sloppy kill, but a kill nonetheless. And something happened in bottom lane. Where, once again, we have this guy just getting killed. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very unfortunate to have someone like that on your team. And especially if it's the AD carry, because the AD carry is um, probably your most important part of your late game, uh, well, your late game plan. And Masti is going to get out. Don't know how he got out, but he got out. Oh, he's not out yet. No, if, if this guy just made it to level 6, so a few more minions and this guy, uh, this uh, Master he would have died. But it seems that uh, he got lucky and yeah, nothing happened. There is no one there, so you can shoot all you want, but that is not going to happen. Oh, so anyhow... Um, Melzahar here, yeah, he is uh, in some trouble in general because uh, he is not able to do anything anymore against Talon. Every time Talon has his ultimate up, he's going to get killed now. And um, yeah, let's see how uh, the minions on these guys are uh, 37 versus uh, 20, so also farming a lot better, even though he, um, he got killed once more. And because of a gank. But still a very decent amount of gold ahead there. And if they can keep this up, if they can keep the, the farm up on these these guys. Oh yeah, you got spotted. You need an oracles. And that's why we see on the pro teams all of these really early oracles. And that's the reason why oracles is going to get nerfed. Which is probably going to take like 6 months. But still they announced the nerf on the oracles. 
And um, yeah, the the nerf on the oracles means that. Uh, oh, hang on, top lane got a kill as well. Um, the nerf on the oracles is that it's not permanent anymore until you die. Uh, it's going to uh, be reduced to um, to work for four minutes, and then the next three minutes. So f you can only use it once every seven minutes in your team. So um, I don't think that's a good nerf. I think they should just remove the entire thing. And um, um, yeah, I think they should replace it with some so something else, something that, for example, would wipe all the wards from the map for both teams. So you can uh, you can purchase it in the shop, and it would be something like an atom bomb. But you can purchase it as many times as you want, for uh, maybe 400 gold. That would be good. And um, yeah, of course, then you would have. Um, a fair fight, you would be able to uh, get the dragon, get the baron without the fear of having any wards uh, up, but you would sacrifice your own wards at the same time. So, that way, um, yeah, especially if the enemy doesn't, it cannot see when you use it. So, if the enemy has no wards up, then um, you're generally just destroying your own wards. But, that way you don't reveal oracles or, or ward spots on the enemy team. Maybe they found something new to ward or they have different strategies for their wards. Maybe they're not placing any wards. But it would be a completely different game in that way. And you would still be able to remove all the wards from the map. You would be s able to safely do Baron and Dragon. And yeah, on the other hand, I like the uh, the pink warding a lot more, but uh, so a lot more than the oracles. But I do understand why they made an oracles instead of that pink uh, or instead of just the pink ward, because obviously what you get with the pink ward or with an oracles is the mobility. So you're able to not only, for example, if you pink ward over here. Then you can see whether there's a ward over here. But if you pink ward over here, you can't even see whether it's in here or in here. So it can still be warded. And with an oracles, you actually have the mobility to uh, to get everything out there, out uh, even if it's not exactly in the range of that ward. So the 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 kind of nuke that I was suggesting is kind of an amplification of that. You would be able to uh, to get all the wards. You would be able to uh, maybe clear the wards on on part of the map. I don't know. Oh, jump! No, didn't have an ultimate. Oh man, he had an ultimate up. Oh, that was. Uh, oh, he didn't have. No, he didn't have mana for it. That is a shame. Because you can uh, you can avoid the tower shot, one tower shot with your ultimate if you hit it exactly at the right time and oh come on, get him no, they're not going to get him <laughs> oh So yeah, this uh, this bottom lane seems to be uh, doing okay now. Uh, it's still 40 against uh, uh, almost 60, but at least uh, we have Master Yi picking up the slack. Have, he has 30 minions, where uh, this guy has 13. So yeah, I guess it's okay-ish. It's not great, but it's okay-ish. But it's all good. It doesn't really matter. Um, just because Corky doesn't have the experience with Corky uh, doesn't mean that yeah he shouldn't be in this team he's, uh, he's doing a good job of just keeping up with the farm combined well the combined farm of them it's just that um, they had to go for someone who does damage instead of uh, going with the real support and yeah he's still he's still keeping up so I don't really care and they are going to steal the blue buff here. The blue buff, uh, or the top blue buff, their own blue buff, went to uh, uh, 
what's his name, uh, this guy Chogoth, and uh, the blue buff on the enemy team is going to uh, Shaco here. But Shaco not taking out the last minion, meaning that he won't be back, or he doesn't want to be back in uh, five minutes t uh, time. Yeah, that's five minutes. Yeah. So, um, otherwise he could have been back in five minutes and gotten another blue buff. But in this case, because he doesn't know when the next one will be up. Oh man, are we going to see a 15 minute Baron here? And... Hang on, because we get another kill here. Yeah, they have no vision in this uh, in these bottom brushes, and yeah, once again not using that uh, that Valkyrie, which I'm pretty sure was up. So um, planting some wards here or some um, boxes here, and yeah, they can see him. So it's kind of uh, the problem. <laughs> but with a 5 smite team, they still didn't kill the dragon. At least I didn't see them, maybe they did, but I didn't see them kill the dragon. And um, they are going to attempt to get this Baron. But yeah, the enemies know what's going to happen. Because there is a pink ward up. It's kind of funny that uh, they're not going to be able to, uh, to interrupt this at all. And oh, they are going to attempt to, but yeah, there's no way you can uh, you can steal this against a decent smite team. Oh come on! No, everyone getting so low. <laughs> oh man, get out of here already! I don't know what's happening over here, but. <laughs> One of them is getting killed. Yeah, the the Chogoth goes down. And are they going to do anything else? Oh, come on, come on, this guy. Yeah, we're going uh, we're going into that other kill in just a moment. I want to see if anything happens over here. No, 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 no. Nothing else is going to happen. Maybe. Oh no! Run! Oh, too late. <laughs> I think I'm... Yeah, I need to go back one more. So, they are over here and they're getting a kill and a kill. And, oh, he he almost got killed here. And why did he run back in then? I wanted to help out the the rest of his team. But, yeah, that's, this was way too risky. And, yeah, here he should have reacted instantly. But he waited too long. He does poof away, but it was not enough. Well, actually, the animation went off, but not good enough. So next time, if you're trying to be sneaky and get a Baron while the complete enemy team is still up, you might want to purchase a Pink Ward. And see that there's actually a Pink Ward. <laughs> Man, the enemy's so lucky, because now... They wouldn't be th that lucky anymore. So it does seem that they picked up a dragon at some point. But I don't know. I don't know. So with four smites up, um, it does zero true damage. That's excellent. Not bugged at all. Um, yeah, zero true damage. Come on. No, it says zero on everyone. So even on this guy. Oh, no, 650. And who got the dragon there? Hang on. Now I want to know. Who got the dragon? Um. Nobody? Hang on. Oh, it is this. No, no, no. The red team got the dragon. So, actually got, uh, yeah, he got the smite off, never mind, yeah, I was looking at this and then I was like, uh huh, but, <laughs> yeah, it's now 19 to 19, and they should pick up a kill here, come on, Corky, 
Nope, nope, nope. Not going to happen. So that's a shame. So a five my team and a, uh, they don't get the dragons. Uh, that's pretty good. Blue is not up. So how about taking this tower then? And come on, come on, come on. Getting it. There we go. Another turret. And that is the second turret. And yeah, this top lane now under some assault. Two enemy champions here. <laughs> oh man, she's just going to walk out. She is just going to walk out. Yeah, I don't know how she she is so quick, but it must be uh, in the champion. So it must be uh, innate walking uh, speed, movement speed. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, cute. And who is the cheater today? I don't know. I don't know. Cheater Omg. And the cheater Omg is going to run out of here. And he is going to grab zero uh, slows there. And yeah, he did grab two slows there. Which is excellent. And is he going to make it out? Yes, he is. Because there are two guys waiting. Oh, they forgot to jump on them. Come on. Yeah, the rocket did hit, for those of you wondering. It is just a mistake from the replay system. Uh, it's just drawing the rocket where it's supposed to go. And then once it ups the updates, because he had a little bit of a lag there in the recording. So it does fly through the person it's supposed to hit and then um, it sl shows the explosion once it figures out Oh, hang on, that wasn't supposed to happen And come on, get the slow Another slow, no they're not going to catch up with her, she is way too quick Oh, she has a movement speed boost in one of her skills Yeah, that's it Oh, the she runs through the fear, and even then she they they can't catch her. Uh, but yeah, coming around the back. Come on, no! Oh, the rest is going to chase someone else. Master Yi, behind you! Oh, they're not going to see each other. Seems that uh, Fiora just got a free uh, escape there. Oh, <laughs> if only you knew. So yeah, the uh, Warwick is going to pick up the red buff here. And uh, he's going to go for this, these double golems. And oh, no, 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 don't reveal yourself. Oh, that's such a shame. Because that Warwick would have definitely gone on to the Cho'Gath. And uh, yeah, anyway, it's a shame. So anyhow, this is a 3 versus 2 and um, yeah, they're not going to do anything. <laughs> they're just going to stand there and uh, do not a whole lot. How did she reveal that? There was no way to reveal that. Because her Q, although it hits it, is not supposed to reveal that, but anyhow. Oh man, you didn't see that coming. Ah, <sighs> no, come on, come on, come on. Play better, guys. Come on, smite away that uh, that Baron or something like that. So a new ward going off on the Baron. And Chukath is going to make it out. Almost has his uh, Rylas Crystal Scepter, which allows him, or which should allow him, to catch up with the Fiora in the next fight.
Come on, come on, come on! Let's go! Let's go! Go on him! Kill him! Haha! <laughs> Corky actually picks up the kill! Corky now 1 and 5 and needs to be careful not to get killed again. But yeah, he, uh, they are getting caught here by four of the enemies and he is going to make it out. But Master Yi is not going to make it out. Corky is. Corky should be fine here. Yep, four enemies over here. <laughs> uh, they know there's a ward there now and they need to to counter ward it. Uh, who got the dragon this time? I don't know. Don't really care. It seems that uh, it's this team because they're now 1k gold ahead and otherwise would probably be ahead for the enemy team. So, um, yeah, Cho'Gath just completely pushing this lane once again, getting some damage done on this turret, and he is getting out of there. And he now has the Crystal Scepter, and Crystal Scepter is of course very useful on, uh, on anyone, but yeah, especially because they've been having some trouble chasing that, um, <laughs> oh, Corky, Corky, Corky. But uh, because they have been cha uh, trying to chase this Fiora around and really haven't been able to do that at all, um, would be great if she could actually be slowed a little bit more. So, Crystal Scepter comes in handy right there. So guys, let's let's go for this dragon. No, no, three smites. That's like fifteen hundred for more damage even. It's like eighteen hundred damage easily. And um, you're going to let the dragon get away when you have 1800 smite damage. Hmm. <laughs> and yeah, that should easily be doable. But it seems that uh, there are two guys waiting here. And they have a good assumption there that there is indeed something coming up. And the red team may actually go for this. Yeah, if you, uh, if you, right, come on. Uh, Soraka notices that there are people in that bush. And yeah, she can actually hit them with the Q without seeing them. And the Q lights up when um, when there's someone in the bush next to you. Oh, 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 come on, mouse. Stupid mouse. I hate my mouse. No! Get out of there, Corky! Oh man! Nice reactions there from Corky. Corky was expecting that apparently. And immediately reacted by flashing over the wall. And unfortunately there's no such thing as getting a kill for this team. It seems fairly impossible to get anything done. And wow, that was excellent, that ultimate. It completely dodged the Q from uh, from Graves. He, uh, he didn't stay alive, but still, it was a very nice ultimate. <laughs> and they do pick up the kill here, finally. It seems it's so impossible to get kills for this team. And yeah, maybe you should start using the smite on, on guys like this. Just smite him already. Chugath, cheater, man. Super cheater. Here, there we go. Super cheater. How's he a cheater? You can call you you can't call someone a cheater and then uh not explain why. Well you can, but it's not very uh, friendly. So Warwick gets the blood razor. Yeah, you're immediately going to lose then. I mean that's just the way it is. So anyhow, uh, are we going for this? Come on. Master Yi. Come on, Master Yi. Go for that. Go for that dragon, bro. Oh, he's not going for it.
Why Cho'Gath use a heal who don't exist? I'm assuming that Cho'Gath healed because of his innate ability or his um, ultimate. And um, yeah, and he just healed. Well, not healed. He got some extra health because of that. Um, yeah, it could actually be. Well, he's had six stacks, so I don't actually know. But <laughs> wow! <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Oh, come on, Master Yi, don't jump in like that. That is ridiculous. No, get out of there. No, you're going to get hit by the minion. Yeah, so it seems that uh, we're just going to pick up this turret then. Yeah, might as well. So, Corky gets out of there, and um, it seems that they uh, just traded Master Yi for the Warwick in the end. And it's kind of time to go for those dragons and such. So yeah, Dragon is going to... Uh <laughs> Dragon is uh, is not actually going for the the clone. That was pretty funny. Yep, getting an easy dragon, and that should have happened a couple of times already. <laughs> but yeah, getting that uh, getting that easy dragon there, and he still has his uh, his deceive up, so he can just deceive through the wall if he needs to. And what are we going to do here? <laughs> seems that um, the enemy team is just happily just sitting around everywhere. Sitting around in top lane. I guess this guy must have had so many minions by now. No, 111. That's really not that many. 171 on Choga. That's a lot. He has been doing a great job of just farming it up. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Shaco going for the level 5 boots. And yeah, because he's running around all the time, I guess that's a that's a good thing. So Corky gets a kill there. And come on. Get the kills. Nicely done. And they really have a large amount of kills on their team. They have 22 kills, but it's spread over three champions only, and two on uh, Corky. But yeah, mainly the well, these three have five, ten, and five kills, and that is excellent because that means that you uh, you can actually do a lot of damage while the other two champions are there just to protect you. And on this team, yeah, that's the same thing only. <laughs> Well, one of the uh, the actual carries has one kill and seven deaths. And that is not a good score. So anyhow, um, we should really be going for this uh, for this Baron. But I think after that uh, first failed attempt, they're not really <laughs> willing to go for it anymore. Unfortunately, I cannot see how long the ward is still there. But it was a nice attempt at a 50 minute Baron. Yeah, next time just buy a ward. A pink ward, that is. <laughs> just by standing here, he's drawing the attention of this guy. And <laughs> that is pretty cool. Because just by uh, uh, getting... T uh, or just by being spotted at the... Uh, or just by standing at the... Uh, Baron, you already can draw someone out of the lane and uh, in your neighborhood. That is pretty, pretty cute. So Fiora going for a whole lot of defense, and is that going to pay off? Because she needs to do the damage. She has a lot of the kills. 
She has uh, four of the kills and um, yeah, that may not be the highest on the team, but still it is a pretty decent amount. And um, yeah, at least the Graves is going for full damage. So yes, it does pay off for her. She gets damaged quite a lot, but yeah, not as much as she would otherwise have been. And Corky is just shooting some uh, some rockets here, which is exactly the way he should do that. Oh man, come on, just go in and kill someone. Now they they rightfully don't do that, of course. You should just uh, play it safe and uh, make sure that they don't they don't get killed because it would be a shame if they did get killed when well there's just no reason to so the ward did time out now and are they going for it they did ping it but that means nothing <laughs> we're taking two baron shots excellent yeah let's uh, aggravate baron that's excellent taking two baron shots as well <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Come on Warwick, go check that. Talon has an Oracle's Elixir now. That's going to allow them to see that there's no ward at Baron. And... Oh, Chograt, get out dude! Oh. No, they're not following him, that's a shame. Would have been a nice kill for... Uh, for them. And yes, just checking whether there are any wards. Nope, it seems to be safe. But still not going for it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, 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 nom, nom, nom. I will eat you. Wow, that does so much damage. That's a thousand true damage. Wow. <laughs> now I understand why they're, uh, yeah, why they're uh, uh, calling him a cheater. He's actually building AP. And nobody expects Cho'Gath to have 400 AP. So yeah, 400 AP will give you a large ultimate. And uh, yeah, that was um, a few smites. Yeah, three smites. And yeah, that will clear the Baron quite quickly. And of course, um, this guy now thinks, Oh, I'm going to stand here and just do a lot of damage when someone comes in. Not realizing that, yeah, when there are three guys coming in that are completely fed and that have Baron buff, probably not the best plan to just stand there on your own. But yeah, that, um, uh, this, this, uh, what's his face, uh, Graves has, uh, I can't really read it, but I think 1600 health or well, 2,000 health, I don't really care. And uh, yeah, the Cho'Gath ultimate does 1,000 true damage. You can see how that would uh, would work on that. And yeah, he noms another one. <laughs> oh man, the Cho'Gath ultimate is so strong. And we are just going to go into this turret and just kill it. But yeah, I like how some of them are really using those smites to get the minions. And uh, using them to just last hit or, well, just get whatever. And I also like how this guy thinks that um, you have a bloodthirster so I need to farm, man. I don't need to uh, defend my base. Defending bases for noobs. And uh, yeah, that's probably not a good idea here. Because your clone is already <laughs> hitting him, so you get uh, hit by the turret immediately. But yeah, they get uh, another, or they get a turret here, a Nexus turret, and yeah, they need to back off here. 
Oh, free, free kill, free kill. Get him. Get him, he wanted to get killed. Yes, there we go. Yeah, man, aimbot on, uh, on Cho'Gath. Report him, man. Report him. Super cheater. People really don't pay attention to the builds that, uh, that their opponents do. I mean, this amount of AP is going to get you ridiculous amounts of damage on, uh, on your skills. As you can see, it does over twice the amount of damage it normally does. And uh, this one also, yeah. That is just... Oh, <laughs> this one does three times uh, as much damage as it normally does. So you can see how AP Cho'Gath, yeah, would surprise you with the amount of damage he does. And especially that ultimate, man. That is ridiculous. Just eating someone at 60% health is always ridiculous, of course. And yeah, it's 1780 now, I believe. So yeah, when he got... Uh, eaten before when people were remarking in the in the chat a little bit earlier there uh, he had well well under 1500 health so yeah you can eat him at uh, a thousand so yeah you can see how that works it is just yeah eating someone at two-thirds of their health is just um, yeah it looks ridiculous but yeah if you lose the game that's the way it works. 240 minions also is pretty ri ridiculous. But yeah, that's the way it works. If you get a lot of minions, if you get a lot of gold. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, this guy has a lot of gold. So, yeah, that's the way it, uh, it goes. There's really nothing you can do about it. So yeah, let's get uh, some kills and then get this last turret. I'm just going to attack the turret now. Oh yeah, the ultimate on Cho'Gath, man. Because it does like 300 damage. Yeah, nom nom. <laughs> oh man, so much fun here. Yeah, there goes the next turret. And um, let's just kill some more. Come on, come on, get this Fiora. Get the Fiora. Yeah, they're trying to do all kinds of damage, but that's not the right Shaco, dude. <laughs> They're not even going to grab another kill. <laughs> oh my god. That was just um, some very good play. And yeah, I have to say, I really enjoyed that. Especially the AP Cho'Gath. It is so ridiculous. So thank you for sending this to me. Hope you enjoyed it as well. And I will see you next time. GG.